Once upon a time, there was a smart advisor to a king who was on his way to a meeting. As he walked, he noticed a dead mouse by the side of the road. He told his companions, even with something as small as this dead mouse, a hardworking young person could build a fortune. With hard work and clever thinking, he could start a business and support a family. A passerby heard the advisor's words. Knowing that this advisor was very wise, he decided to follow his advice. He picked up the dead mouse and walked away with it. Soon after, a shopkeeper stopped him and said, My cat has been bothering me all morning. I'll give you two copper coins for that mouse. So the man sold the mouse and received two copper coins. With the coins, he bought some sweet cakes and water. He waited by the road until some flower pickers, who were thirsty and hungry, came by. They bought the cakes and water from him, and in return, gave him bunches of flowers. In the evening, he sold the flowers in the city and made some money. He used this money to buy more sweet cakes and sold them to the flower pickers again the next day. One day, there was a big storm with heavy rain and strong winds. The man saw many branches had fallen in the king's garden. He offered to clean up the branches for the gardener if he could keep them. The lazy gardener agreed. The man then found some children playing nearby. He asked them to collect all the branches in exchange for a sweet cake for each child. The children happily did the job. Soon after, the king's potter came by looking for firewood. When he saw the piles of branches, he bought them from the man for a good price and even gave him some pots. With the money he made, the man opened a refreshment shop. One day, some grass mowers came to his shop, and he gave them free sweet cakes and drinks. They were grateful and asked how they could help him. He said he didn't need anything right then, but he would let them know in the future. A week later, he heard that a horse dealer was coming to town with 500 horses. He asked the grass mowers to give him a bundle of grass each, and not sell any grass to the horse dealer until he had sold his. Because of this, he got a very good price for his grass. Time went by, and one day, customers in his shop told him about a new ship from a foreign country that had just arrived in the port. Seeing this as a great opportunity, he bought a valuable gold ring with a red ruby from a jeweler friend. He knew that in the foreign country, rubies and gold were rare and expensive. So, he gave the ring to the ship's captain as a gift. In return, the captain agreed to send all his passengers to the man to be shown the best shops in the city. The man made deals with the shop owners to get a commission for sending customers to them. By helping the passengers from many ships find good shops, the man became very rich. Remembering that it all started with the advisor's words, he decided to give the advisor a gift of 100,000 gold coins, which was half of his wealth. After making arrangements, he met the advisor and gave him the gift, along with his thanks. The advisor was amazed and asked how the man had earned so much money. The man told him the whole story, starting from the dead mouse to selling flowers, storm branches, grass for horses, a golden ruby ring, and finally, becoming very rich, the royal advisor thought, this man is talented and hardworking. I have a lot of wealth and an only daughter. Since this man is single, he should marry my daughter and inherit my wealth too. My daughter will be well cared for. So it happened. After the wise advisor died, the man who followed his advice became the richest man in the city. The king made him the new advisor. For the rest of his life, he used his money generously to make many people happy and well. The moral is, with energy and ability, Great wealth comes even from small beginnings.